saying I've got internet problems. Hopefully that'll sort itself out. All right. So I've got a couple of paintings here or drawings here that I can turn into paintings. And I think the first one I'm going to work on, and we'll see if I get to the second one or not. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a rabbit. I figured with spring and everything, it'd be nice to paint a little rabbit. So here we go. There's my rabbit. I don't know how well you can see it. It's kind of faint. But hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Tuesday. I'm really happy to be out in the park today. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see out there, but there is just a ton of Indian paintbrush, which is one of my absolute favorite wildflowers here in Texas. So it's beautiful. I found a nice little spot in the park and I'm just going to paint. But welcome everyone. Let me know if y'all can see everything okay. I might turn a little bit. Angle y'all down a little bit. There we go. Alright. So let's get to painting. I hope y'all had a great Easter. So I am working on a rabbit today. Just a fun little rabbit. Let's see how that goes. First, I'm going to put some water down on it, and then I will add the paint. Yeah, I love to come and paint in the park uh, with watercolor, because it's easy to transport. Really easy. Kind of a little brown bunny. It's so pretty today. It's like it's not hot, it's not cold, it's perfect. I found a good shady tree to sit under. So I'm all set. I don't look at the comments very often, I apologize, but I am painting, so I kind of get in the zone when I paint. And you kind of have to tend to the watercolors a little fast, especially if you're outside and it's a little windy, because they will dry out much quicker. It's okay if you paint a little outside the lines. We're not going to worry about it too much. We're just here to have fun. Make something cute and, ha and have a little fun. Now if y'all can hear the geese back there. There's a big old pond behind me. And it's got ducks and geese. Little bug hanging out with me. <laughs> He says, hey, what are you painting, lady? So yeah, this rabbit, is he's kind of hopping away. So this is like the back view of him. Hey, thank you for the follow. Make sure I didn't miss any comments. 
Hey everyone, thank you. So good to see you. Oh my gosh, so many people have come through. Wow. Well, happy Monday, everyone. And I'm sorry if I missed a comment. It doesn't look like I did. But yeah. Let me know if y'all can see okay. I love spring in Texas. Um, I don't care for the tornadoes that come. They happen a lot more in spring. But we get all those beautiful flowers out there. And, you know, the, the trees turn a beautiful green. That I love. Chittering birds. Birds are so happy. Yeah, I've been looking forward to coming out and painting. Uh, it was a cold winter, and I didn't feel that great, so I stayed home. And I came out and painted once during the winter, and I wound up getting a sunburn. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, I think I'll wait for the leaves to come back. So that's what I did. That's why I'm here now. Because the leaves are back. I can sit in the shade and not worry about sunburn. did a lot of his paintings in studio. I was just wondering if he did any uh, outside. How dreamy would that have been? Bob Ross outside painting. Would have been pretty cool. His son came through my town and he was doing like a workshop so he was teaching the style of his dad you know how to paint like his dad but I didn't get to go because it was kind of expensive well you know expensive for me like it was hundred and fifty dollars or something which isn't that bad really but I didn't have the money at the time but it would have been cool it would have been really cool Welcome. Good to see you today. Thank you for hanging out. Alright, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to keep working on the little feet. And I'm going to add flowers and grass. It's going to be really cute. Just a fun little painting. And then the next painting I'm going to do is a llama. Yeah, a bunny. <laughs> yep, and the next one I'll do is a llama. So right here, I'm just kind of picking up some of the brown from the body of the bunny and just moving it around so he'll have light brown feet. So there'll be a little bit of color, but it'll be pretty faint. Let's see how that goes. And then his little pads, I'm going to paint pink. That might be a little 
little too light, so I might come over here and pick up a little bit of color. Just a little bit. I don't want his, the underneath of his feet to be really dark. I want it to be a little bit lighter. Yeah. I do have paper towels too. So if you do like a little mess up, if you get a paper towel, you can pick it up. It's not a really, it's not a big deal. Hey, oh, you can't see? Okay, let me try and work it out. Y'all need to be like more overhead the picture? Or is it just you can't see me? working so yeah it's really handy to have a paper towel if you make a little mistake you can clean it up a little bit with the paper towel I think I might work on the flowers a little bit I think that'd be cool Welcome. Good to see you. Just working on adding some flowers. Oh, there's a crow way out there on the pool. I know y'all probably can't see it, but it's sitting there hanging out. Definitely hear him. <laughs> yeah, so I'm letting the feet dry and then I can go back in and do the pads. The coloring of the pads. For the flower, I'm adding the color and then I'm getting it wet and dragging it around so it kind of lightens it a little bit so it's not as sharp or dark a color. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Feels good to get out of the studio for a little bit. Been stuck in there most of the winter and not that I don't like it, I do. I just, you know, I'd like to be outside too. Yeah. So over the winter I was working on uh clay. I was learning how to sculpt clay. That was fun. 
chew bug. <laughs> All right. Let's get these pads painted. And be really careful not to run my hands through the flowers. I don't want to smudge them. It's a white kind of pink. I'm not too worried about the pencil lines showing up. It's okay. Yeah, if you don't want your pencil lines to show up as much, you need to erase them a little bit more. Feet. When I was growing up, I didn't really care for a Bugs Bunny. That makes me think of Bugs Bunny. The rabbit. The rabbit. But yeah. Now that I'm older, it's like, yeah, he's alright. <laughs> there was a Looney Tunes uh, cartoon that was on TV. Like a more modern Looney Tunes. And I think that helped me change my opinion of them. Although I did like the Barber of Seville Bugs Bunny. I always thought that one was funny. is talking. <laughs> Alright, now to paint some grass. What are you doing? some color to the centers of the flowers. So I went with like a yellowish kind of goldy color. Dot that in there. So cute. Alright, so I'm just going to wet this a little bit right here. And I'm 
just gonna pick it up. Let that dry. That'll be really cute. And now I can get to work on my llama if y'all want to stick around for that. So here we go. Look at cute bunny. So cute. Alright, so I'm just going to set that down. Let that dry. Ugh. Here's my llama next. Alright, so first, what I'm going to do is erase a little bit. Hey, good to see you. Make sure I didn't miss any comments. So many people have come through. So good to see everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Thank y'all so much, everyone. I really appreciate you. A thousand likes. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Alright, so what you want to do is get your... I use this kind of eraser. It's, it's white. And it doesn't leave any streaks behind. So I like using a white eraser. And I just lighten up my lines a little bit. But how are y'all? What have y'all been up to? I hope y'all had a good weekend. How was y'all's Easter? I did an art swap about a week ago with another artist here on TikTok. And uh, she got one of my llamas like this. And I got... A, uh, a frog playing a ukulele. Oh my gosh, it was so friggin' cute. Um, I posted a video of it, and she posted a video of mine. But if y'all go in my profile, you'll see how to find her and all that. But yeah, it was like so cute. I've never done an art swap. Like, I've seen and heard other people do it, but I've never, never done that. It was really cool. I'm really glad that we did it. She's such a nice lady. So sweet and funny. And clever. Oh my gosh. She is so clever. But yeah, that's, a, that's one thing I really like about TikTok. Is all the really cool people that you meet. And the awesome community that you can build. I just haven't gotten that on other platforms, you know? Not really. Not like here. Alright. Let's paint. So, if y'all see, it's a little bit lighter. Now I can paint. Hey! I'm doing a llama. Good to see you. Yeah, I just got finished painting a bunny. Now I'm going to do a llama. But let me get up. I want y'all to see the area I'm out at. My I'm at. It's gorgeous. All right. So let me. And you see out here? There's all these beautiful Indian paintbrush. So let me pan around. It's really, really pretty out here. Hi again. Beautiful. I love sitting here by the trees, so then I get plenty of shade. And I saw this spot with all the flowers, and I'm like, I have to sit here. But yeah, what do y'all think? It is really gorgeous out here today. Let me show you. There's the rabbit that I just finished painting. Really cute. Just a fun little thing. Oh no, raining. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah, we've been getting plenty of rain too. But that's what 
gives us flowers, right? Trying to get situated again. But yeah, it's just so beautiful out here. The sky is just blue with these big white puffy clouds. It is gorgeous. And I'm feeling halfway decent today, so I thought I'd come out and paint. Yeah, so for my Easter, we went and hung out with uh, my in-laws. So my, my husband's parents. And it was nice. They're getting, they're getting older, so it's really important to spend time with them, you know? I love you. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good to see you. <laughs> well, have fun in your in your life. I hope it goes well. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I was just talking about you, telling everyone about our art spot. <laughs> It's so pretty today. It's like I had to come out and paint. If the weather stays nice and I stay feeling decent, I'll, you know, I'll keep coming out and painting like I was doing before winter hit. Thank you. Hope y'all can see everything okay. rainbow llama like I do uh, people seem to really really enjoy my rainbow llamas so I'm gonna paint one today loads of color really beautiful they're so fun to make I just love them Let's see, okay? Hey, everyone. Good.
good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what color it is. Paint go where it wants. Let it do its thing. <laughs> it's gonna do its thing. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this painted out. And then I'm going to start adding uh, paint splatters. But I'm going to do that with a straw. Let's get this ear done. So this is, it's a really fun technique. You get some paint, you set it down, and then you use a straw to manipulate where you want it to go, and it looks kind of like a paint splash. It's pretty cool. any questions please let me know happy to answer <laughs> the birds are really talking today
So cute. Alright, so this is what I have so far, and I know it's wild looking, but it's supposed to be, so. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to need to let that dry a little bit. If y'all have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Um, I will be pa uh, painting in the eyes black, and you see these other little hair details? I will also be doing those in black. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry for a minute so we can chat. Hey, Brooklyn. How are you? Hey, everyone. Make sure I didn't miss any comments. So good to see everyone. How about y'all? But I'm really happy it's spring. I'm really happy I get to go out and paint now. I really missed it. I will keep sculpting. That is something I will keep doing. Like, if I'm not feeling well or, you know, just feel like sculpting, I'll be in the, in my studio doing that. But I do want to keep coming out and painting as well. It's something I really enjoy. It's really therapeutic. Um, so my mother passed away last August. My dog passed away last June. And something to help through the grieving and healing process, you know, I figured I needed something. And coming out and painting was that for me. It's helped me so much. Um, it's helped me gain confidence, uh, some self-esteem, and uh, just peace, peace of mind. Getting out in nature, like I just see, a, I just saw a butterfly. You know, just getting out here and connecting, uh, not with just nature, but with y'all, has been really nice. It's been so helpful to me, and I love it. <laughs> like I can feel, I feel like I can breathe out here, like. Everything's just so open and free, and it just feels amazing. And I, I feel completely blessed that I found this space that I can do this in. So this is a public park. It is a very large park. There's frisbee golf, uh, little walking trails, uh, things like that. Um, but the, the, usually the time that I come, there's not a whole lot of people out here. And it, for me, that's nice. It's just peaceful, and it's a way for me to connect to nature. I really love it. But yeah, if y'all are, you know, feel like you're trapped or need to heal, you know, I would suggest watercolor and I would suggest painting outside because it's been so, it's been very beneficial to me. Alright, I'm going to break out the straw and I'm going to start... I have this straw. Do I have a straw? Oh darn. I don't. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes. Alright. So I'm going to break out the straw and I'm going to show y'all how I do this next part of the process here. And I do sell these paintings if anyone's interested in purchasing this one. Since you saw how it was created today. So this is just a fun little thing I like to do to the paintings. So, it's that easy. You add a little bit of water, you add a little bit of paint, then you get your straw and you blow on it. And you can blow any direction you want. It doesn't have to be like mine. You can do it your own way. And it's just, it's a cool little effect. People really seem to enjoy it uh, with my paintings.
There's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's just, you know, a thing. It just adds more color, and I, I'm a sucker for color. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So you see it just adds some pops of color. It's just fun. And that's really why I do it. I just love it. It's just something that's different, a little unique. You don't see it every day in, in people's art. If you get any on top of your original, you can just kind of dot it up a little bit. But yeah. Uh-oh. I dropped my paintbrush. <laughs> Good reason to get up and stretch, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and play in the flowers, I think. It's just so pretty out here. I'm going to frolic, y'all. That's what I'll do. <laughs> I'm going to frolic in the flowers. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maybe I should take y'all with me. Would y'all want to frolic with me? <laughs> Does that sound something like, like something that would interest y'all? <laughs> Alright, so... I think maybe up here... And if you want to add, add paint splashes, you could also do that. And I think I will, so. Yeah. More color, more better. <laughs> Put my straw over here so it doesn't get lost. Don't want to, definitely don't want to trash the environment. So, got to keep track of everything you bring in. You got to bring it out. Alright, so for paint splashes, what I like to do is get the brush really wet, put some paint on it, add a little bit more water, and then just very forcefully, like that, add some paint splashes. I like to do, you know, a few different colors. It's a good idea to, to keep it flat so the paint doesn't run. Hey, so good to see you. Yeah, I hadn't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Hi.
Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I'm not too worried about getting paint on my artboard. I mean, that's what it's for, right? So, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I do think I want to bring this down a little bit. Just so I get some more paint up here. It doesn't look like there's paint missing. So, yay! Cute, fun. If anyone's interested in purchasing, please let me know. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit before I do any more to it. There we go. So I'm going to set that down. Let it dry. And I don't see anyone around. Do you want to go frolic? <laughs> do you want to frolic through the flowers with me? Let's go do that. Oh, it's not better than you, honey. I promise. No. But thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. So let me get the camera turned. Do y'all want to face me or do y'all want to just see the ground? <laughs> How about if I just do that? There we go. Alright, let's frolic, people. <laughs> How do you frolic? Do you, like, run? Do you skip? I'm a little heavy for skipping. I don't want to hurt myself. Alright, so here's a patch of flowers. Beautiful. Oh yeah, we got this park to ourselves, people. I love it. I think my art stuff will be okay there. I won't go too far. Let's see. It's beautiful. Yes, it is, isn't it? And let, let me turn around. Y'all can see the sky. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous out here. Just coming out to a big patch of flowers. Alright, so these, these flowers are called Indian paintbrush. And they grow in Texas. They grow wild in Texas. And they're one of my favorite wild flowers. Yeah, so look how big it is. See, you just see how big that is? Yeah, I went to East Texas once because my mom used to live in East Texas. And I saw these kind of flowers, but they were like up to my knees, like over my knees. They were like really tall and just huge. They're beautiful. Thank y'all so much for the likes. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hanging out with this weird old lady who's hanging out in the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty, and I just wanted to share that with everyone. Here, I'm going to try and get my camera turned around. Try and see what I'm doing here. Flip camera. There we go. Now I kind of see what I'm doing here. Instead of guessing. There's an observatory, so you can come and see the moon, the stars, planets. It's really cool. I've been there once with my family. It was a lot of fun. But you see all these flowers. <clears throat> when I was a kid, my parents had like five acres of land that we all lived on. And it was just acres and acres of these flowers. It was amazing. It was always beautiful to see. So... I'm really attached to these kind of flowers. I just love them. I'll have to come out and take some pictures of them when I get done. But yeah, I just wanted y'all to see, and I'm trying not to step on them. I don't want to, I don't want to crush them. But yeah, I wanted y'all to see that. <gasps> Look at this. Can y'all see that? What is that? What kind of bee is that? Wow, that thing is so cool. It looks like a little hummingbird, but it's like a bee. I don't know how 
all y'all can see that, but wow. I've never seen anything like that. That is so cool. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Nature's so cool. Okay, buddy, we'll leave you alone. I gotta get back to my painting. Oh my goodness. So cool. Alright, let's get this camera flipped back around. Hope I'm not boring, y'all. <laughs> hey, Valerie. So good to see you. I'm hanging out in the flowers. I'm painting. I'm letting it dry a little bit. And uh, I decided, hey, let's go frolic in the flowers. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. It's just so beautiful today. I wanted to share it with everybody. I've got the park to myself. I don't see anybody. It's really nice. Really peaceful and quiet. Except for my yammering. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. No, it's still a little wet. That's okay. I'll show y'all the bunny rabbit that I painted. Let me get everything set back up here. I'm in Texas. I didn't just zoom in, did I? No, okay. I'm in Texas. It is. It's a beautiful day. Thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I don't mind sharing. I'm in Texas. So, here's just a little rabbit I did. Just a fun little spring thing. Um, I know it's not realistic, but I wasn't aiming for realistic. <laughs> I was just aiming for fun. Uh, it's so pretty out, so I just wanted to come out and have some fun. That. My llama. I did like some paint splatter on it, so I'm kind of waiting for that to dry. And then I'll do some line work. So do the little hair details, the face, the eyes, that kind of deal. But yeah, so if anyone's interested in purchasing either one of these, please let me know. Uh, people really seem to like these uh, llamas that I do here, so, yeah. It's still a little wet, so I need to let it dry. They're called Indian Paintbrush. Yeah, Indian Paintbrush, uh, and they're here in Texas. They grow wild. Um... I love them. They're like my favorite, uh, one of my favorite wildflowers. We also have lupins or lupines. I don't know what you call them. But here in Texas, we call them blue bonnets. Yeah, and that's our state flower. And it comes out this time of year, and they're just gorgeous. So you'll see fields full of blue bonnets and then these Indian paintbrush. So it's red and blue basically everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love it. Ooh, poppies. You, you'll have to come out. You'll have to do a video of that. I'd love to see that. Are, are they the orange ones? I've seen, like, pictures of orange ones. Those, those are so pretty. <gasps> oh, I'm jealous. I have to drive out to the country to enjoy this. Yeah, I live kind of in a city, like, suburb kind of area. And... I drive like 30, 40 minutes from my house to get here to paint, but I enjoy it. I listen to music on the way, and I'm just, you know, cruising, having a great time. And then I get out here and get to paint, and then on my way back, I do the same thing. <laughs> Dandelions. Oh, I, I love those, too. Lilies, roses, buttercups. Yeah, we get buttercups here, too. We get, um... We get the ones that are called wine cups, so they're like a darker purple. And then we get the butter cups, which are like that really light, kind of pinkish. Yeah, 
I love those. And they smell so good. They're so pretty. But they grow wild here. I love them. But yeah. Alright. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's still a little damp. Oh, that's so cool. My husband would never go for that. Um, but I would love to do something like that. Just totally get rid of the grass. Uh, maybe have like, you know, like prairie grass that grows naturally. Uh, naturally. There, I can talk, I swear. Um, yeah, I think that'd be cool. Marigold. I love marigolds. I don't know what flax looks like. Is that like a grass or is it like a flower too? Our yard's mostly weeds now. <laughs> we, we, you know, like we grew up in the country uh, when we were kids. And we didn't know how to tend grass or, you know, lawns. And so our yards, our front and backyard's basically just full of weeds now. And it's not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. But if you keep it mowed, it's okay, I guess. But, yeah. We're not lawn people. <laughs> oh, 2,000 likes. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start breaking out the paint pen. Let that dry a little bit more. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Hey, no worries. No worries, everyone. It's okay. Flax is long and skinny with a tiny blue flower. I'll have to look it up. Fire truck. Yeah, like I'm in the country, but there's like a highway that runs along back here. So you'll hear the traffic and, and stuff, but beyond that, it's really peaceful out here usually. A couple of fire trucks. Alright, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna try and be careful and not put my hand in the paint that's still wet. But I think I can get started a little bit with the paint pen on some of the details. I'm just going to be careful. So this I like to do just kind of free. You know, I don't want to be married to a line. I just want to kind of keep it loose, you know? And I think that's fun, too. Like, it's just, I don't know. It adds interest, I think. Yeah, so just, just like that. You don't have to add that if you don't want to, but it's just something that is kind of like my signature. It's what I do. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, I just heard a rooster. How funny. Trying to be careful. <laughs> it 
So the pen I'm using is Posca. It's just a fine line kind of paint pen. It's acrylic paint. And you could also use, I use, my favorite is a Painter's Elmer's, like Elmer's Glue paint pen. Uh, I think it's the same company, but it's called Painter's. And that's like my favorite pen. But I don't mind using the Posca too. Oh, okay. It was good to see you. Bye, everyone. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so there's definitely some wet spots I'm just trying to avoid. Yeah, so this is, I guess you'd consider it a mixed media piece because I'm using acrylic paint and watercolor. So two different mediums to create this piece. And this part here, I put my initials on the face, but it also kind of looks like squiggles. But yeah, I just kind of incorporate my initials. and Sometimes I like to incorporate hearts, so there's a heart next to my initials. Yeah, sometimes I hide the heart in my art, and it's not as obvious. And sometimes I just make it really obvious. This is what I've got so far. What do y'all think? Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out and frolicking with me in the flowers and watching me paint. I really appreciate it. It's too beautiful a day not to share, right? It's like I have to share. For me, I feel like the black lines help the colors pop even more. Like, you don't have to add... Um, the acrylic paint if you don't want to for sure but it's just something I like to do So it's coming together for sure. Yay! <laughs> hey, Ruby! So good to see you! I'm not sure you you probably missed it, but there's a whole bunch of flowers back there. And I was running through the flowers. It was so nice. Hey, Leanna! Yes! I'm in the park today. Really happy about it. I haven't been feeling too good. I still don't feel that great. But I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's just too beautiful to miss. So, and I thought maybe it might help me feel better. But yeah, I'm painting a llama. I painted a rabbit. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting like voicemail stuff. But yeah. Yep, yeah, so painted a rabbit. 
I'm trying to let some of this paint splatter dry. But I got most of the llama colored out. I just got to do the eyes now. I'll probably go frolic through the flowers again when I when I'm done. If y'all want to stick around for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so this side's still a little wet, but I think I can start working on this eye. So I'll just kind of maybe do it upside down a little bit. I like to leave a little bit of a highlight too, so I'll just leave that open. But yeah, this is watercolor and acrylic paint pen. So two different mediums to create this look. And the flowers that are behind me are called Indian paintbrush. And they grow wild here in Texas in the spring. They're one of my favorite wildflowers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, so maybe if I avoid this spot, I can get some work done on this eyeball. Oh no, something's crawling on me. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's the danger of working outside. You get bugs on you. Now I feel like bugs are all over me. <laughs> Don't you hate that? You get one bug and then the rest of the day you feel like you have a bug on you. So this is a Posca paint pen, acrylic paint pen. Um, I'll use an Elmer's painter's pen. The Elmer's is my favorite. But yeah, there we go. She's done. What do y'all think? You like her? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. If y'all are interested in purchasing her, please let me know. I'd love to give her a good home. Alright, now all I have to do is sign it. my signature lemons llamas there you go <laughs> she's done and she's happy she's happy she got made out in a field of flowers right that's pretty cool all right I'm gonna start packing up but don't think I'm leaving just yet okay I want y'all to come out and hang out in the flowers with me 
I'm gonna get up close and show you the flowers. So if y'all got a minute, I'd appreciate it. Y'all aren't gonna wanna miss the flowers. Let's go to the flowers. I gotta show y'all around. All right, I'm gonna get the camera turned around so y'all can see. Y'all can get a good look on my big forehead. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so here's my setup. <clears throat> I've been losing my voice a little bit. I think it's allergies. But here's my camera setup and everything I do here in the park. Uh, usually, I'll get between these two trees in here. But I decided today I wanted to be here so you could see the beautiful flowers in the background. But look at that sky. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Alright, I'm going to quit yapping and let's go over here and look at the flowers. <laughs> y'all like down in the flowers very cinematic <laughs> yeah but these are called Indian paintbrush and they grow wild here in Texas in the spring I just love them. Look at that, red, white, and blue, everybody. <laughs> Who knew they're patriotic flowers? All right, so I'm gonna take y'all uphill here. Try not to bounce too much. Yeah, I think they're gorgeous, right? But yeah, I'm gonna take y'all uphill here because it's, oh my gosh, hang on. Look at that butterfly. pretty oh my goodness why am I talking to him like a little baby <laughs> it's like oh my goodness so cute anyways <laughs> all right up the hill <clears throat> we're going yeah there's a lot more flowers up here You do have to be careful in the flowers, though, because there could be rattlesnakes. But, yeah, you just got to watch your step and be aware. All right, I'm going to run y'all through these flowers. And this one's a ginormous one. I know you can't really tell on the camera, but it's huge. have enjoyed hanging out with me today thank you I knew y'all would really like it so I was like please don't go y'all want to see this <laughs> let me get turned around again hey big forehead hello <laughs> yes I am acutely aware of my giant yard my yardage here but that's okay I'm not ashamed of it. That's why I wear my hair up. <laughs> uh, there's people like walking now. Probably like, what is that lady doing? <laughs> I'm 
being a tourist in my own home state. Try not to stomp on the flowers as I go. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I always appreciate y'all. Oh, he's playing frisbee. I'm not gonna film him. I don't want to be rude. But yeah. Thank y'all so much. What are y'all up to today? Oh, I'm glad. Hey, look at that tree. That's like awesome behind my head. <laughs> it's like I got a tree growing out. Yeah, I usually sit between, there's like two trees here, and I'll sit between them, and then my husband was like, you do know that's in the way of the frisbee golf, like you're right in the path, and I'm like, oh, that would explain why people are giving me looks, <laughs> and I was like, it's a beautiful day, there might be frisbee golfers out here today, and there, there has been, but that's okay, I got, I got a good spot, so really pretty ah rest day well I'm really glad you got to hang out with me for a little bit um, but yeah I painted another llama hopefully uh, she'll get a good home too but yeah Whoa. that was cool sounding the frisbee like whizzed over my head it was really cool sounding anyways I'm easily amused. Yeah. Um, I did an art swap with one of my art friends here on TikTok. And she got one of my uh, rainbow llamas. A lot like that one. And I have a couple more at the house. And I thought it'd be nice to just come out and paint another one. You know, the more the merrier, I guess. <laughs> I need like just an army of like rainbow llamas cover the globe. Love ya. See you later. It's good to see ya. Thank y'all so much for hanging out, everyone. I think I'm gonna take pictures and hang out a little bit, but I hope to see y'all next time. Take care, everyone. Please check out the links in my bio. Alright, bye. Love y'all. Have a great day.